Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So I headed over to an Insta360 dealer in Malaysia and decided to just take the plunge and buy the Insta360 ONE RS 360 Edition. So this is actually the one inch version. So you might be thinking the X3 is sort of a newer model. Why don't you go for the X3? But personally for me, I shoot in low light and I plan to shoot in low light with this 360 camera. So the Insta360 X3 with the smaller sensor is similar to what my GoPro can produce. So which means that it's very subpar night mode performance. So after much thought, I decided to just go with the one inch edition. And this is also co-engineered with Leica. And being a big camera guy, I do use Leica glass along with my other cameras which I've actually shot in uh, many videos back. I actually did an unboxing of that lens which I'm still using till today. And I absolutely love the color that comes out from Leica glass. So this 1 inch uh, edition which is co-engineered with Leica which means that it has Leica technology inside the glass. Which means that you're going to expect really really great performance along with the 1 inch sensor which means best in class low light performance for a 360 camera. Of course this camera doesn't come in cheap. This costs a pretty penny which I purchased for around 3,000 to 4,000 ringgit around that. Uh, that's actually the retail price in Malaysia. But of course since I bought this from my longtime friend which I've been buying all my camera gear from, he actually included a 120GB Lexa memory card along with this Insta360 invisible selfie stick which is actually the original one you can see right here. So the reason I bought this is that I'm planning to actually use this camera on my drives because I do like to shoot drive footage especially like POV. I was just planning to expand uh, and try out new stuff, new creative stuff with my videos and actually get a 360 camera, get the sticky mount or a suction cup mount and actually mount it outside the car. So yeah, it definitely seems scary because this is a very expensive 360 camera. But if you want really good nighttime videos and have more versatility with uh, your editing in post, Definitely this is the camera to go for. Okay, so let's uh, quickly take a look around the box. So you can see Insta360 ONE RS. You can see interchangeable lens, 360 cam. So the good thing about this ONE RS is that it adopts the modular system of the Insta360 ONE RS uh, system, which means you can actually use this, remove the 360 portion and also the battery base and actually adapt it to the other Insta360 cameras and mods that are around. So you're not just buying one camera, you're buying a couple of cameras actually, just that you need the attachments of course. So that's the reason why I decided to go for this instead of just a standalone 360 camera which I'm definitely not going to be using full time. Okay, so let's go back to the packaging. You can see how the camera looks. It looks like a traditional 360 camera, uh, but of course with more versatility. You can see there is also a screen. Of course, I do prefer the larger screen like on the X3. And of course the interface which is much better i heard i heard this has overheating issues as well i'm not sure whether there is a software to fix this i'm not really sure and i have to do some research definitely a bigger sensor more processing power is needed and definitely in a, such a small body you're going to face the issue just like with the gopro so yeah okay so one inch 360 edition co-engineered with leica let's take a look at the left side so you can see how this camera is actually used in different scenarios. So I'm actually kind of interested in actually getting this bike mount because I do ride scooters and I think 360 camera footage on a scooter is just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so on the right, let me bring this closer. You can see dual one inch sensors. You can see 6K 360 video. I heard the previous generation one was only 5.7K, I believe. And this has upgraded sensor as well. This is a 21 megapixel sensor compared to the previous I believe 18 megapixel sensors, 3 megapixels, yeah. But the most important for me is the sensor size. So flow state stabilization, which is really, really awesome. Uh, very good job from uh, Insta360 because I actually used their Insta360 Go, the first generation, and I was blown away by the stabilization. Such a small camera. Of course, the picture quality is not that good. The video quality is not that great. But the stabilization is really, really good. In fact, it beats out the GoPro doesn't have that much jitter so you can get 360 horizon lock which is kind of uh i should say um feature that's already pretty popular in the market you can see right here invisible selfie stick which actually came together with this package 
so you can see super low light because of the one inch sensor hdr photos which is something i do have to try out and see whether it stacks up against the hero 9 black which i currently i was so tempted to get the hero 11 black creator combo but i decided to hold off just because i already have a gopro and yeah i don't need so many gopros in my life i want to try something new so of course we have voice control which i do not use i do not really bother of course we did miss out this water resistant so this is not waterproof like the gopros or the insta 360 x3 yeah you're not going to get like uh, be able to bring this under underwater of course there will be a case i believe uh, as usual but not for me because i just need like water resistance because i do not take it diving or stuff like that so here we have interchangeable lens that's what i told you about the modular system and last but not least auto edit which is really awesome you can use the app or you can if you have a mac i believe there's uh, software to actually use and edit your 360 footage so you can see what comes in the box so you do have the one inch 360 lens you do have the core which is the brains of the whole camera you do have the battery of course which is definitely needed you have the mounting bracket to keep everything in place you have the charging cable and also a lens cap which is definitely something yeah kind of uh, scary to me because you know the lenses are protruding out of the the module and yeah scratching it is easy you know because it's just like sticking out you put it on the table if you're not standing it up you're going to scratch the lens so definitely keep the lens cap on if you're not using it at all time okay so let's quickly cut open the box try and do this behind camera Bring me okay here we go okay let's put the knife to the side let's quickly get this unwrapped okay so this is a really nice uh matte white box I believe you do have to remove the back portion and let's slide it out very nice and firm presentation all right there you go so this is actually my first time trying out this camera i've never seen it never held it i've just seen it on youtube but no definitely not in real life so yeah kind of nervous let's get the camera out wow it actually feels substantial Wow, take a look at these guys. My hands are pretty big. And look at this. But really nice grip though. Uh, I think it's very ergonomic. Especially the buttons. Very nice. I had to do more exploration with this. This is my very first time hands-on. So on the side, you can see flow state stabilization. On the other side, 1 inch CMOS sensors. You can see the aperture. F2.2. Yeah. So you can see this Leica, you can see right here, the usual Leica stuff, Super Semicron. Yeah, and on the other side should be similar, I guess. Yes, it is. Really nice. Of course, there's a lens protector, which I'm going to be keeping on there first. So these are some instructions on how to assemble it and insert the micro SD card. Right, so you can see this is actually the charging port. USB-C charging port then you get of course this really really small touchscreen interface uh, no physical buttons here like the x3 I wish there was but because of the modular design you're not going to be getting that so you can pause this and read it for yourself so you can charge the battery and all those stuff which we already knew we have capacitive buttons right here on the I would try to say like the right side okay let's take this as the right side we have the the record button yeah, you can hear. I accidentally started it. So anyways, let's just uh, turn it off. Let me hold it longer. Yes, I believe that's how you turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, first try. Works. Okay, so on the top, you can see there's nothing. On the bottom, we get a quarter inch track for the selfie stick. The invisible selfie stick. And many other accessories. If you do want to mount it on your tripod, it works as well. So really, really nice. Feels really good. Okay, let's explore what else comes in the package. Okay, we do have a QR code as well. It's a guide. So you need to install the Insta360 app and yeah, watch the intro and stuff like that, which I'll be doing later on. So we get a Silica gel. We get, what is this? I guess a pop protector. Extra pop protector. Is this a pop protector? I guess so. Then let me put this so I don't lose it. Um, we get the USB-C, USB-A cable. What else do we get? We get the lens cover. So 
I think this is really important. Is there anything inside? No, it's just a lens cover. It's a silicone lens cover. And last but not least, we do get a very nice cleaning cloth. Of course, with the Insta360 branding. And some books. Yeah, I don't think we really need that. So, quick start guide as well as some warranty stuff, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so that's a body for the unboxing. I will definitely need some time to play around with this camera and explore the features and get it set up with the app and all. Of course, I'll be doing a tutorial on that uh, when the time comes. But of course, I do need to get myself well versed before I start giving my honest opinions and stuff like that. So, this has been a pretty sort of quick unboxing of the Insta360 ONE RS 360 ONE inch edition. And I hope to be enjoying the use of this camera in the years to come because that's the reason why I bought such an expensive one because I do not upgrade my cameras that often. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.